and I'm going to show you how to do a lightsaber effect. To do this effect, you will need yourself with a lightsaber or something that, just a stick or something if you don't have the toy lightsaber. A toy lightsaber would be best because its handle looks like one from the movie. So, you'll also need a, a something in the back that looks like, and that's the same color as the lightsaber color bit. The same color as the lightsaber is supposed to be. Or you could just use white and use objects 3D to change it to the color that you want. Which I'm doing right now. Then, using Transform 3D, you can make sure that if it's, oh, if it's bigger than the picture that you have, then you can shrink it to the same dimensions as the picture. And you want it to be the same length as the video. Then you have to go through the video frame by frame. And then wherever the lightsabers you get Rotomate, add a, add a rectangle, the changes mask, invert mask, and set it to linear. Then using the edit tool, you go through frame by frame, making sure that it goes over the entire lightsaber. It's not necessary to have the lightsaber be the same color as the uh, as the color it's going to be in the effect, but it's helpful because if the lightsaber shows from under it because you messed up a little in the effect, if it's the same color, then it's harder to notice than if it's a different color. Whenever it's blurred, you just fill in the entire blurred area. There. In the next frame. It's so blurred here that you can't see where the lightsaber is. I'm just going to fill it kind of randomly. It's only one frame long. Then here, the lightsaber is off screen. And to make sure that it's visible the entire time. Here it's my favorite off screen, so now it's not visible. And here it is. Just go through the entire video frame by frame, making sure that the shape is in the right place.
probably some other ways to do this effect, but I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're as effective. But one way you can do this is using the chroma key and then and you can make sure that the lightsaber is bright enough, but that'll only give you one color and not give you really a glowing effect. Then at one point you want to look at that and then use mask blur to make it look more like it's glowing. I don't know how that happened. I accidentally clicked transition presets. Transition presets is annoying. I barely ever use them, and it's whenever I accidentally click on it, it just takes forever to load. This is a problem. It's going to build black edges. I can fix that just by using the skill X problem solved. If you don't want to watch me edit this part, you can just skip ahead in the video. There's another very important step. Ah. Big blur. Huge. Yeah. 